hello everyone nice to have you here on this channel in this um, video we'll be looking at an important and interesting uh, method of drawing ellipse in my previous video i've been able to draw various um, method for the construction of ellipse we have looked at um, rectangular or oblong method we've looked at um, auxiliary circle uh, or concentric circle method we have also drawn ellipse using the approximation method we have drawn ellipse using the focal point or intersecting arc method so if you need to see those videos please just go to the playlist on this channel um, check on special curves you are going to see the ellipse using the different methods that i've just uh, mentioned now um, just take a look at it they are very um, simple and easy to draw but in this video we are going to be drawing ellipse using another method and the method we are going to be using is um, the trimel method the trimel method this is um, a very quick and interesting way of drawing ellipse so I'll, I'll be taking us through the procedure yeah, for drawing that in this video we have a question the question says an ellipse has a major axis and minor axis to be 150 respectively draw the ellipse using trimel method if you observe in my video on this ellipse i've been using the major axis to be 100 and minor axis to be 50 that doesn't mean this is the um, uh, fixed value that is given to major axis or minor axis no you can have the major axis different from 100 and the minor axis different from 50 just get the procedure the procedure right okay so we have said in the previous video ellipse has two axis the major axis and the minor axis more or less like saying two diameter the longer part which is the uh, major and the shortest part which is the minor so i'm going to be drawing the major axis now first that, that is the first thing to do we draw the major axis and the minor axis first so we are having this just pick a point here so we have this side as um this side as a then the major axis is 100 okay so i will measure 100 as we usually do in the previous video so i'll take 100 this 100 and um, this will be our b okay so the minor axis of course will be at the center the center it must be at the center so the center here is 50 so i have that so i'm going to be drawing um vertical line from that um 50 now I'll draw a vertical line so I'll fix this this way to draw my vertical vertical which will be forming the which will be forming the minor axis so I'm going to take the minor axis as 25 up 25 down that is for the minor axis 25 up then 25 down so this is let's call this side um let's call it our c and um, d okay so this way so we've been able to draw the two axis axis so the major axis a b which is 100 the minor axis which is um, 50 okay 25 um or 25 um, down so this is the first thing we we need to do okay now we have um we are looking at the trimel method a different method from the previous one I have drawn. Now, how do we use trimer to draw um, the ellipse? Okay, the ellipse, of course, we pass through A, C, B, and D, like that. Now, the thing we are going to do now, you cut a piece of paper this way. We have a piece of paper with a straight edge this way. Okay, no fixed um, dimension or measurement for the paper just cut your paper long enough okay long enough okay then fold the paper this way i'm going to fold the paper this way fold the paper such that is it is going to be looking like a straight edge like a ruler this way okay we have the paper this way so what we are going to be doing now just pay attention and follow me okay so let's mark a point okay we can mark a point okay let's mark a point on the paper force let's mark a point let's mark a point as a 
on this paper as you can see so fix that point a okay to half of the major axis of course half of the major axis is 50 so which is this part here okay as we can have here so mark this point as b i hope this is clear so this is half of the major axis so the next thing we are going to do now we are going to take half of the major axis as well half of the minor axis as well so from here now this is half of the major axis half of the major axis half of the major axis okay now we, half of the major axis is this okay i'm repeating myself for emphasis sake okay now we fake place the point a here we are taking half of the minor axis now half of the minor axis which is here okay this is half of the minor axis okay so i can call this c okay invariably we are saying that ac is 50 and c and ac is 25 why c b is also 25 a to b is 50 i hope this is clear okay now this is what we are going to be doing now we are going to on the minor axis okay the half of the minor axis i'm going to divide this into four into four using any um division any length of choice okay it's not necessarily going to be equal it might not be equal so can just have this divide into four two three like this okay we divide this way so if i call this one two three and four this way just have four divisions then do same down like this one two three and four so i have this as one this as two this as um, three this as four okay i hope this is clear okay no particular um 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 dimension so it's just randomly use your hand to divide in this way okay now this is what we are going to be doing now now this b now is going to be placed on each of these division let's for instance say the division is starting from here you see this place i'm pointing to okay which is our b okay then c must always be in line with the major axis with the line of the major axis don't forget this is the major axis okay in line with the line of the major axis why point a is the one that is giving us the point why a is giving us the point so if it is like this for a start okay you can see c is in line with this major axis this is our first point meaning this is the first point of course the ellipse is passing through this point so the same thing is applicable to this side now let's start with this one now if i place b here on this point now b must be on the point here this division then c i make sure c is in line with the major axis you can see you can see the way i put it here so this will be another point we are going to be having here i hope this is clear then move to two move to two c also must be in line with the line of the major axis okay i hope you can see this make sure it's in line okay here is another point we have here okay you'll be getting the point that way then go to three go to three c must be in line you can see in this case now b is on three okay but it's not in line with the major axis so i have to adjust this adjust 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 it and make sure it is in line like this okay i'll make sure it is in line okay so i will adjust make sure it is in line okay so we have it here now so we can have this point like this okay then we go again for now for well we are just make sure it is in line okay i'll be checking these two places simultaneously while i'm checking on b i'm checking on this so you can see they are both in line okay so this will be my other point okay which of course if you have this now at at this point c okay why this is here you can see 
so it's going to be giving us the point here okay we have this point now so we keep going like that come down now come down to four now place b on four okay c on the on the major axis at this other side here you can see must be in line like i keep saying okay this our point here also okay we go again now come down to three come down to three okay we walk up and down so come down to three so c must be placed c must always be on the major axis okay you patiently do that until it is on the major axis that is when the ellipse can be formed and don't forget that is point a that is giving us the the point okay now i'll come down to two make sure c c is always on the line of the major axis it's as easy and simple as this so you have um you have um, this this point here okay you can see we have this then one now on this one okay c b is on one now c is on the line of the major axis so you can see c is on this line of the major axis why this is one so we have this this drawn so if you continue you can see it's, it's going to give us at this point here okay so we continue that way now we continue that way to draw for this other side so i'll move down i'm moving to four here now why c must be on this line you can see it's as simple as that here c is on this line so i'm going to have my point here okay we keep going now go to three b is on this line so why c is on the point there so i'm going to have this okay don't forget b is what is moving up the vertical side why c must be on the horizontal or the major okay major axis so we have this here okay make sure it is fixed yes it's fixed there so we have that then come down to one now and see on the horizontal line okay so you patiently do that okay so we have um this then finally at uh, this point d like this so we are going to have this point you can see that now then we continue take it over to the next part now so let's start with one here you can start with one here b then i just i just see just keep adjusting c c must be on this line why b must be on any of this line that is the logic there so we have um we have this okay then we go to two this way we go to two so c always check the c and b don't forget always check the b and c before you take your point okay so we have here two we have here on this line so you have this the next one go to three go to three yes i think um, we are fine we have this okay then four now four then check c c c is fine then we have this okay so this is our point now we are going to take our cuff now to bring out this point this um cuff out neatly okay this way okay so i have that point like that then i will draw for this other side like this So we have our um, points drawn out now so this is how to draw using the primal method okay 
I hope um, this is clear. Thank you very much for staying tuned. God bless you.